Who doesn't want a stable and secure and big paycheck? Well, apparently rich people. I'll show you. This is an article from Business Insider titled 13 Top Executives Who Earn a Dollar Salary or Less. And who do they have? People like Larry Page from Google, or Larry Ellison from Oracle, or Elon Musk from Tesla, or Mark Zuckerberg from Meta. Now at this point, I already know what you're getting ready to type. You're about to say, but just breathe. Yeah, it's easy for them because they're rich. That's not the point. The goal is for you to understand the financial education behind what rich people are doing. That way you can make yourself rich or make yourself richer. Not to mention the fact that just because somebody's salary is $1 doesn't mean they're only making a dollar. Let me explain. Let's stick with the meta Mark Zuckerberg example to make this simple. Mark Zuckerberg owns about 13% of the meta company. I try to draw this out here. This is his equity in the company and he's also a CEO in the company as well. That means that Mark Zuckerberg is an owner in the company that's what he gets with this equity but he's also an employee in this company as an employee he gets a salary as an owner he gets the profits so let's start with the most basic part of this how are you taxed on your salary versus your profits and as an attorney who's not your attorney what i can tell you is that your salary income comes with higher tax rates and lower tax deductions than the money you make from your profits let me explain. If you live in California and you make $100,000 a year from your job, the first thing that you're gonna pay is your federal taxes, which will be about $14,000. The second thing that you're gonna pay is your state taxes for living in Cali, which is about $6,000. And then the third thing that you're gonna pay are your FICA taxes, your Medicare and Social Security taxes at $7,600. $100 and your FICA taxes are technically actually double that because your employer, your boss, is also going to have to pay $7,600. So if you're the employer and the employee because you own the company, then you're paying both sides of the FICA taxes. If you're just an employee, or you're just paying the $7,600 out of your own pocket. But now let's compare that to making $100,000 through profit not your salary. You make $100,000. You still got to pay your federal income taxes. You got to pay your state income taxes, but you no longer have to worry about the FICA taxes. So the $7,600 you have to pay when you're an employee, you don't have to pay when it's a profit distribution. Plus, if you own the company, that means you get to save on the FICA taxes on the employee side and the employer side, which means you're essentially saving about $15,000 by paying yourself a profit instead of a salary. Now, a little disclaimer here. There are rules and regulations as to how much money you can take as a profit versus a salary. So before you go out and do this, make sure you talk to a licensed advisor in your area, but it just goes to show you that when you get paid from your profits versus your salary, you don't have to worry about FICA taxes. And in addition to that, you can also qualify for different deductions here from your profit distributions than you can from your salary. And also, which I didn't cover in this video, depending on how these profits are distributed and what type of company you are, this profit can also be a lower tax rate. But for the purposes of this video, for simplicity, all I wanted to show was that when you make money from profits versus your salary, you can pay lower taxes legally. And the second disclaimer that you want to understand is that your FICA taxes also stop after your income exceeds $168,000 a year. But this tax part is really just the beginning, which brings me to the second part of this video, which is really where the wealth is built through this. So remember what I said just a couple minutes ago, which is that Mark Zuckerberg owns 13% of the meta company, and he's also a CEO inside of the company. So we kind of talked about the salary, but now let's talk about this 13%, this equity. Now, what you want to remember is that the valuation of this meta company, this stock, you can kind of think of it like the net worth of this company depends on how much profit this company is making. What do I mean by that? Well, let me give you the technicals and I'll explain what this means. The meta company is trading for 27 times earnings. What that means is for every dollar of profit the meta company makes, the valuation of this meta company essentially is going up by $27. So let me give you a hypothetical to break this down. Let's assume that my company makes a billion dollars a year in revenue before expenses, and it's trading for a five times multiple. Now, in order to understand how much this company is worth, I gotta know the profits. And let's assume that this company has, I don't know, $500 million a year in expenses before I pay myself a salary. So before I pay my salary, that means I have a net income of $500 million. Assuming I pay myself a zero salary, that means now that this company will be worth $2.5 billion, five times the earnings, five times the profits, but I gotta pay myself a salary, right? Because if I have no equity, I gotta pay myself something. So now let's assume that I need the big bucks. I need a big salary to make me feel comfortable and I wanna make $200 million a year. Well, that $200 million a year is an expense for the business. That means now instead of having $500 million in expenses, we have $700 million in expenses, which means the profit is only $300 million. Now, if we take the $300 million and multiply it by five, that means now this company is worth $1.5 billion. 
you can see the difference between me taking a zero salary versus me paying myself a $200 million salary. I take out $200 million, but I lose a billion dollars in valuation. The reason why I lost a billion dollars in valuation is because every dollar I take out of the company is worth $5 of value because it's trading for a five times multiple. So now if we bring that back to what's happening with the Meta company, according to the numbers today, at the time we're recording this video, the Meta stock is trading at a 27 times multiple. It's trading for 27 times earnings. That means for every dollar Mark Zuckerberg takes out in expenses, the value essentially falls but $27. Now I get it, it's not an exact number, but it gives you an idea of what's happening. So if Mark Zuckerberg took out $100 million for himself as a salary, that's a $100 million expense, which means the profits would fall by $100 million. But the value of the stock would essentially then be hurt by 27 times that. That would be a $2.7 billion difference because it's a 27 times multiple of the profits. If the profits fall by $100 million, then the valuation falls by 2.7 billion. But now here's probably the coolest part of all of this. So let me tie this all together. When you pay yourself a salary, this is an expense. And so it reduces your profit of the company because you have to pay yourself a salary out of the revenue. But when you pay yourself a profit, this isn't shown on the expenses because this is what you're doing with the profits. So your salary is a part of the expenses. Your profit distribution is not a part of the expenses because this is what you do after you determine what the profit is. So now, let's just say you want $100,000. If you take it out of a salary, well, that's going to affect how much you're paying in taxes. And it's also going to affect the valuation of the company. But when you take it out of your profits, you can get potential tax breaks, but it also doesn't impact the valuation of the company as well. Now, yes, there are nuances to this. I get it. Every single accountant, every single business owner, every single venture capitalist watching this is going to say, yeah, but there are nuances to this because you have to account for some sort of salary for you. You have to account for some sort of this and that. I get it, but you got to understand the principles. That way you can understand how you can use this for yourself because if you don't understand the principles, you can't use any of these concepts for yourself. So let me break down now how you can use these principles for yourself that we can understand what rich people are doing and understand how you can use these same concepts for yourself to make yourself rich or make yourself richer. By the way, just to hammer this home one more time, this is why Mark Zuckerberg only made $11 in salary over the last 11 years, but his wealth grew by almost $50 billion. So how do you apply this for you? Well, the first thing is understanding that Mark Zuckerberg is working for this. Equity, not salary. That's the first thing you have to understand. Now you might say, but just Preet, I don't own a business. How do I work for equity, not a salary? Well, you don't have to own your own business. You don't have to start your own business to do this because guess what? People own the meta stock. Mark Zuckerberg owns 13% of the meta stock, which means other people own 87% of this stock. So if you want to not take advantage of the same thing, you have to understand this equity. You don't have to necessarily go out and create it. If you are an entrepreneur, great. You can go out and create it and build a lot of wealth that way. But if you can't go out and create, the second best thing that you can do is you can go out and buy it because 87% of Meta is owned by other people. Mark Zuckerberg's wealth is built through just 13% of this because he was able to create it. He didn't have to go out to buy it, but he sold a piece of it to other people, which allowed him to build that wealth for himself. If you enjoyed this clip and you want to continue your financial education journey, I have another video that I think you'll love. All you got to do is click that button right over there. And for those of you who want to stay up to date on the top finance and business news, you can join Market Briefs, my free financial newsletter, by clicking that button below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.